In the currency quadrant, taking a look at a down week in the September British pound. The pound was lower for a fifth consecutive week, but not by much. And looking on the bright side for the British pound longs, it did finish slightly higher than the gap open lower that we had earlier in the week. On the day we finished unchanged, maybe slightly negative or slightly positive, but that's after we dropped from a high of one spot 2707, which was up 0.43%. The low today, 12627, was down two tenths of a percent. Today is the fourth session in the last five where the pound was positive or unchanged as we're calling today. But two days ago, we had such a strong down move that over those last five sessions, we ended up with an unchanged week, as I mentioned earlier. Final first quarter UK GDP growth estimates were in today and they were revised higher, which was clearly the source of the early rally in the pound today, but it didn't hold, likely because it was in sharp contrast to the industrial trends orders figure that we got on June 24th from the Confederation of British Industry. That came in better than expected, but still at a negative reading, negative 18, that's pretty weak. Today's GDP figures were revised higher with the year-over-year -year growth rate, rate coming in at 0.3% and the quarter-over-quarter quarter coming in at 0.7%, both of which were 0.1% better than the previous estimate. The dollar, on the other hand, charged higher for a fourth consecutive week in the aggregate, despite finishing lower today. And of course, if the dollar is stronger, it's likely that the pound will be weaker. And again, that's likely why the pound came off the high, because yields in the U.S. were lower to start the day, and then they charged higher as well.